So you want to start making your dream game The game that would be number one on Steam and everyone would enjoy playing it But you don't know how to make a game Or from where to start Wait, you don't even know how to code? So today I will show you the big picture of making games that I have been building for the last two years So prepare to take some notes Each part of this video will be important to turn you into a game creator a game developer so the first thing you need to know to make your dream game is to <clears throat> I just wanted to warn you not to fall into the first known mistake that made thousands quit game dev you can't make a game similar to AAA titles with no experience they have an army of developers and millions of budget it's like solving the hardest NASA level physics question in your first high school lecture so if the first step not making your dream game then what should you do? I think you already know the answer. It's by practicing and it's done by making small games that are actually playable. But there are a lot of things to consider and by following the blueprint in this video, you will be able to start working on your dream game the fastest possible way, solo. So if you are coming from get rich fast scheme, then just quit already. So how do you start game dev? Well, you have two options to begin with mastermind and practical beast the first option is to gain theoretical knowledge by going to a game school <laughs> sorry but who would spend their money on something free on the internet or at least way cheaper so i won't consider this option as you can spend your money more wisely but the way i recommend is to learn from courses and youtube and at the end it's your choice the best thing about this is that you will learn at your own speed which is probably faster than any school after that start making small games to practice practice and apply the knowledge you learned the second option is reversed you start by opening a game engine and making small games but you will have to learn at the same time wait there is something off here i want to clarify something you will never stop learning in both scenarios till you reach the experts level and it's known as the 10,000 hours rule it's basically saying that you need this amount of time to be an expert at any skill but hey, being an expert is not our goal. We have to learn the basics and reach the sweet spot level as fast as possible. And there is another book estimating the time you need to reach that, which is 20 hours. But I think in game dev, this might be 40 hours. I don't know, just my own guess. If you are already a game dev, tell us in the comments how much time did you spend to nail down the basics and feel like actually understanding how this journey works. Anyway, that's what I was talking about earlier. You either learn theoretical knowledge by spending 20 to 40 hours and then start making games or start making games straight away with zero knowledge and learn as you go. Remember that game dev is a steep learning process and the first 20 hours will give you that satisfying boost at the beginning, which is what I recommend. When I first started, I chose the first option because I didn't want to work on something that I might end up disliking and honestly i don't want to feel lost in the middle of the process so i will tell you what i have learned and then you can choose the option that suits you after that i will tell you the next steps we are building the full picture so be patient i learned what jobs are involved in making a game with a good explanation for each topic and how to deal with the problems as being a solo dev means taking all the responsibilities involved but that will take hours to explain. So I will tell you what are they and feel free to ask ChatGPT or search about how it works. So let's get started. Making a game involves, wait, I have already said that. Okay, listen. You will wear multiple hats. You will be the artist, whether it's 2D or 3D. You will be responsible for storytelling, VFX, marketing, level design, sound effects, planning for a game, fixing errors, making mechanics and systems, game and music, UI, game design, game feel, polish, genre and themes, narrative types, prototype, scope creep, risk management, game economy, AI for NPCs, and much, much more. Almost every field requires the first 20 hours and it's hard to be honest. But remember that you don't have to learn everything at the same time. So don't feel overwhelmed and start learning one thing at a time. So after choosing your path, let's begin with choosing a game. 
the no ending battle between the big three which one is the best well all of them are capable of whatever you want and choosing one of them will depend on your preferences so here are some quick examples want to make 2d games in a user-friendly ui and coding language godot is your choice you prefer c sharp and want more tutorials choose unity you don't want to code and want incredible graphics movement system and optimization built-in features you can use unreal engine with blueprint which is visual scripting language this part is from one of the two videos i made before where i covered this topic in detail the first one is what engine should you use with an example at the end and the second one is about the best game engine comparing them to each other so watch them to have a better idea when choosing one and if you are not interested in using any of the big three my guy here explained other game engines if you want so after choosing an engine i will give you the blueprint that you need to follow as a new game dev but before that let me tell you from what game a game is divided into two parts basically what is inside which is the code and what we see which is game assets if you are familiar with web development you will know what i mean so you have assets and codes assets are anything you can see animations sprites characters and models the code tells the assets how to work with each other and build the logic of the world so now that you know the path the game engine and from what games are made of I will tell you the plan you have to follow to thrive as a solo game developer. So to build your dream game the fastest way, you need the experience that will let you do that. And you will gain it by making small games as I mentioned before. You can make small games for your dream game or you can join game jams. It's a competition to make a game in a short time with a goal in mind. And of course, prizes for the winners. But what are the benefits of making small games you ask? Basically, you will surpass 20 to 100 hours and understand the basics. You will be able to make money from your games and build up an audience. You will also know your abilities better so you can focus on what are you good at and outsource what you are bad at. But the main benefit is obviously the experience that allows you to plan for your dream game. It's just pointless to put a specific deadline in mind and not following because of lack of experience. But after learning the full process from making small games, your planning accuracy for a game will rise, which means a higher chance to finish your dream game without quitting. So how exactly do you do that? Start with whatever option you have chosen, then when you start making small games, make a one week game, three to four times. This will give you a really good amount of experience but hey don't overestimate what you can do in one week look at me when i started hand combat game first person view traps health animation maps and inventory system items all these stuff in one week come on i just said what i wanted my dream game at the time and wrote one week game like this will take months if not a year so don't fall in the same mistake after that, make a one month game for one to three times. You will decide how many times depending on your skills and gut feeling. This time when deciding an idea for the game, a quick tip is to mimic a game but add a twist to it. For example, let's say I made a floppy bird but you control the obstacles or I made clash of clans but you are the king. So now you are making a unique game that requires one month to get a better idea about the difficulty when adding a unique mechanic. Then you will enter the series stage, make three and six months games. And if you became already good at it, you might end up selling these games like Thronefall. It took us 176 days. And now you can make your dream game, which might take two years with all the experience you got and we will discuss the process of making a commercial game but before moving on if you are asking how can you sustain spending all that time without an income then you should watch this video which i believe it will be really valuable for you i don't know why no one watched it before talking about the process of making a commercial game which is any game that you are planning on selling and requires six months we need to know how to 
You can write one or three pages like a small version of a GDD. There is no specific rule, do whatever you like. A GDD is where you write down the core mechanic, art style, and story. You can ask the community on Discord or Reddit or search some examples on the internet to get a better idea. But you have to put a timeline and budget for the game. You simply can't start working on a game with no time limit and scope creep. You will hate yourself. So what is the process of making a commercial game? The proper way that most new devs neglect is to start making a GDD, the planning page we have talked about, but take it more seriously. Then start prototyping your game idea until you are satisfied and find it fun to play. Prototyping is testing mechanics and ideas without using game assets to know if it will be enjoyable and if the idea worth doing or not. That means no level design with ready assets, just trying the game itself to get feedback. Then there are two options. You either prototype your whole game and then polish, or you polish as you go from the start. Polish means adding sound effects, VFX, and other stuff to make everything 10 out of 10 game ready. So after you finish polishing the first part of the game, which contains 15 minutes of gameplay, you can release your demo to get feedback and fund your game through Kickstarter or a publisher. After the demo, you simply finish the game with the DTP process that I have just made, inspired by this, which is in the production phase. Develop, test and feedback, polish, repeat. As you have four phases, concept, pre-production, production and post-production. That's the blueprint you need, but now I will give you a few tips that will boost your progress more than what you ever think. To make everything by yourself, a quick tip is to use assets and websites. Don't feel insecure about that, as your mission is to combine assets to make the game fun to play, because this is the only thing that matters to gamers, and it's one of the hardest things to do. The last golden tip that I don't see many devs use is to always study other games and see what's working like don't know how to balance the game or how to make a trailer always analyze other games and keep learning An interesting way to learn is to analyze why certain games failed so you don't fall with them so you do that by seeking the best and worst games in your same genre then read reviews on steam and reddit about the game also watch some clips of the gameplay and think what could you have done better this in case you don't have time to play games this is how to make the game solo without quitting but before you start this journey you have to know the truth the truth about making games solo that it's not only hard but it sometimes feels impossible because of errors with no solutions, the time and money you have to spend, taking care of all responsibilities, and the games you have to compete with. So if you want to enter this field to enjoy it as a hobby in the first one or two years, and most importantly to enjoy that moment when gamers and your friends play your game, then you are more than welcome so ask yourself why you want to make games if you are overwhelmed i recommend you watch the video again and write down what you have learned you will also help grow this channel speaking of that if you find this video helpful you know what to do and i recommend you watch this playlist i think you will like it and as always enjoy your game dev journey